So I'm blue potion hunting in 2023. I'm online. The servers are up. This is my Kyrian. Attack power 5000 on the Gossamer, uh, Grossmer. Willpower and Hatred. Use the 600 SP. Been using orange potions to pump it up. You know, um, they had an update for deleting, uh, they had a thing for deleting the update in the game. When the game first came out, you can use the orange potions and the blue potions to be able to pump up your, uh, your HP and your, um, you know, your attack power on the, uh, the weapons. I probably got about maybe 5, 10, maybe 15 orange potions into this one, almost 20. I don't know, somewhere around there, I'm guessing. And then about the same for the, uh, armor. Um... Yeah, I've been working on this guy for a little while now. I'm just looking for people to grind with. I'm going to post my Discord in the link in the description. If anybody out there still plays this game, I'm going to make a Discord. Well, I have a Discord. And I'm trying to make it dedicated to people who want to bring back this game. And who absolutely love this hack and slash from, you know, 10, 15, almost 15 years ago. <laughs> Uh, when I first played this game, it was, it was amazing, absolutely loved it, the video games that they're putting out now is all cash grab, you know, when I bought this game, you get access to the full game, I'm on an extreme difficulty right now, so I might get wrecked by some scorpions, but yeah, I'm tired of all the cash grab games out there, and Everything's just been developed for satanic purposes, I would say, because a lot of the game developer companies are uh, in the Illuminati, otherwise they want to make money. So, if you want to make money in this world, or be a millionaire, you know, the god of this world is the devil. And the devil will give you what you want, you just have to forsake Jesus Christ, and I'm not doing that. Jesus will provide for you. Jesus Christ will provide for you. Anybody who doesn't believe that, you know, that's on you. But I'm just a messenger. Don't kill the messenger. <laughs> so these, uh, these little guys right here, these, uh, shamans, they tend to drop orange potions. No, I'm just grinding for some money and for, or, uh, they drop blue potions, sorry. I'm just grinding for some money and, uh, See if I get some more blue potions so I can withstand the attacks of the enemy. Sorry for the janky setup here. You know, I don't really have a, a PC to be streaming, you know, streaming a 15 year old game that nobody's playing right now. But hey, if I get some likes on this video and I get some people, you know, checking it out, you know, that'd be cool. I'd definitely like to get multiple characters going. You know, right now it's just Kyrian is my main. It's because he's my favorite, hence my gamer tag. Angelic Kyrian <laughs> had that gamer tag for years. Xbox banned me back in the day for modding Resident Evil 5 on 360. I lost absolutely everything, man. They couldn't even give me a warning or anything, like, you know, like they do now with people who are cheaters on Call of Duty. You know, they just give them a little tap on the on the wrist. Back then, I got banned to the year 9999999 for putting a Samurai Edge in Resident Evil 5 for Chris Redfield. And I lost so much stuff in my video games, man. So much stuff. 
Mario got done away with. They were probably taken away from the money that, you know, they were making off of those cash grab games, like I said, you know, I'm about to die. Oh, they got me. They got me. Yep. Okay, they got me. If I die, I'm just gonna spawn at the sanctuary and... These scorpions are nasty. I need some, uh... Fort fortification, I think it's called, so I don't get staggered. Really. My stagger is ridiculous. They just spam you when they try to kill you. There's nothing you can do about it. Be like my janky setup. <laughs> yeah, man, we should bring these kind of games back. <laughs> As you can tell, it's been almost 15 years and I'm still salty about getting banned. Potions. That was my biggest, biggest thing that I wanted, that I needed. And when I lost that, it was like, oh my days. Like, they should have dedicated servers for modders. Dedicated servers for people who want to play legit on the games that they have now. There's so many cheaters out there. I don't even I don't even want to touch any any of the new games out right now. And come back to the old nostalgia. I'm glad these servers are still up, so hit me up if you wanna play. You guys are gonna wreck me, look how much health I have. <laughs> Some gold. All these guys are getting one tapped. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead.
I mean, I like playing legit because it's a, it's a grind and it's it's worth it. But I like having mods too when this game was out. The mods were sick. I don't. I haven't played any of the other Kingdom Under Fires, but they all look like strategy games. It looks like this was the only one they did the hack and slash version of, which I think is their best version, honestly. There's a reason I haven't played any other versions. You know, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it and would have been crying about it. I'm just gonna sell this stuff because I think if you just do it on normal and you try to grind the abilities that are on these items do it on normal would probably be the easiest way like normal and just one tap the bosses so that you get you know it's cheaper to synthesize with the lower level item and once you stack it up to 10 then you combine it with like your good stuff and so my sword uses 600 SP but bef right before I buffed it up to 5000 right now it um, was at almost a thousand SP per attack so what I did was I put one of these little junky sword from the forest into that and I synthesized it and it brought it down significantly so if I keep bumping this up bumping this up getting it you know powerful powerful I just keep dumping them swords but it's all about you know getting gold now getting gold and getting getting those potions which I'm currently all out of but the the buff it goes up a lot once you uh, once you get it past a certain point because it doubles, so it's gonna multiply. So once you get past ten thousand, it's just gonna it's just gonna go up to a hundred k quick. But that would be nice. Get the get the armor up to a hundred k. Get this guy up to like ten twenty k something like that. Even a hundred a hundred k each would be nice. Uh, this guy I'm not really worried about. The sword is my main weapon, but I would like to buff the shield and my bow. Where's my bow? I need that. Siddhartha Gautama. Yeah, I know about you. So I love the lore and the history of this game. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grind this out a bit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you know, let's let's bring back nostalgia and, and boycott these games that are that are just cash grabs, man. They're they're sucking money out of the consumers and not even giving people what they want anymore. You know, they used to put out good games with quality, and now it's just been if you don't adhere to their agenda you're not going to make money <laughs> you're not going to be a successful company but i think we can do all things through christ who strengthens me so if there's any developers out there that see this uh thank you for the good games you guys put out in the past you know these guys right here down here man you guys you guys put out some good games man in this game and you Gave me a nostalgia I'll never forget and be able to enjoy, hopefully for a lifetime. Uh, you know, but uh, if you guys see this, thank you. And uh, God bless. Hope this uh, reaches some people.